Hey everyone, Steven here with TV Fork, and today we're going to be going over the muscular anatomy for the adductor magnus muscle, and the anterior head of the adductor magnus muscle attaches from the inferior pubic ramus and the ramus of the ischium to the gluteal tuberosity, the linea sphera, and the medial supracondylar line of the femur, and then the posterior head is going to attach from the ischial tuberosity to the adductor tubercle of the femur, and because it crosses both the pelvis and femur, we know it's going to have action to both of those areas. At the pelvis, its main action is going to be retroversion of the pelvis, and that is with regard to the posterior head, and then some of its lesser actions are going to be ipsilateral elevation, so elevations of the same side, and ipsilateral rotation, so rotation to the same side. Then the anterior head is going to be responsible for antiversion of the pelvis. And then at the femur, its main action is going to be adduction of the femur, so bringing the thigh toward the midline. And then it's also going to be responsible for extension of the femur with regard to the posterior head. Then some of its lesser actions are going to be medial rotation of the femur, or bringing the thigh toward the inside. And then the anterior head is going to be responsible for flexion of the femur. But those are the actions, and that is the muscular anatomy for the adductor magnus muscle. And then tomorrow, we're going to be going over the nerve innervations for the adductor magnus muscle.